attention was? I'm going to show you one of my favorite penguin games. Have you wrote the list of your presents yet? The Penguin Who Wanted to Be Different A Christmas Wish by Maria O'Neill Dorothy Penguin follow Uncle Benny up the hill. Are we there yet? asked Dorothy, puffing hard. Almost thought, said Uncle Benny, taking... Dorothy's hand. They walked for a few more minutes and then scrambled up the last mound of snow. They had reached the top of Glacier Hill. Look at that view, Dot cried Uncle Benny. You can see for miles, Dorothy gazed down toward the village. The houses looked tiny and she could see hundreds of penguins walking around, some playing, some shopping, some on their way to the park. What do you think about that, Dottie? asked Uncle Benny, laughing. Ha 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 ha. Penguins everywhere as far as the eye can see. Dorothy Penguin frowned. But we all look the same, she said. The next day, Dorothy wandered into the garden. She was still frowning, mother looking up. Mom, I want to be different, said Dorothy. I'm just the same as all the other penguins and. You are different, Dorothy. You're different and special to me, said Dorothy's mother. Now, have you written your letter to Santa Claus yet? Not yet, Mom, but Dorothy stammered. Why don't you go and see what Uncle Benny is doing, suggested Dorothy's mom. Dorothy waddled off sadly. Why can't she be like all the other small penguins, sighed Dorothy's mom as she went back to her. Oh, it's kind of like a star and a fish. Hello, Dottie, said Uncle Benny. Have you come to help me fix this old sled, Uncle Benny, how can I make myself different? Dorothy asked er, eagerly. What a strange question, replied Uncle Benny kindly. Why would you want to be different when you were lucky enough to be a penguin? But Uncle Benny said, Dorothy, don't be silly, Dottie, interpreted Uncle Benny, now, what are you going to ask Santa to bring for you for Christmas? I don't know yet, Dorothy mumbled, kicking up the snow. I'm going out to play. See you later, Dorothy slid off. She likes sliding on the ice. Dorothy's twin friends, Ness and Rory, were playing outside their house. Hello, Dot, giggled Ness. Look at our list of presents, said Rory. We ask for a sled, two new scars, and a Snow Wars computer game. And here's our letter to Santa cried. Ness excitedly. Have you written your letter yet? Not yet, said Dorothy thoughtfully. But maybe I should. She borrowed a piece of paper from the twins and began to write every, very carefully. Here is Dorothy's letter. Dear Santa, I'm sorry to bother you right now when you're so busy, but I would like a very special present this year. I want to be different. Oh, I, that would be the best present of all. I know you can do it, Santa. Thank you very much. Love, Dorothy. XOXO. P dot S. I've been very good this year. Ask Mom. Dory. She felt very pleased with herself. She mailed the letter to Santa and skipped off to play.
On Christmas Eve, Dorothy's mother tucked her into bed. Good night, Dorothy. Sleep well. Good night, Mom. Said Dorothy happily. I can't wait until tomorrow. Dorothy's mother smiled. In the middle of the night, an old man with a bushy white beard and sparkling eyes called to his friends. It's time, everyone. He said, "We have to work. Hurry!" A small elf, elf whispered into his. What's that? Asked Santa. Two elves are in bed with Duffu, and one of the reindeer has twisted his his ankle. But it's our busiest night of the year. He sighed. What shall we do? Suddenly, he remembered a very special letter that he had stuffed into his pocket earlier. Dorothy. Was fast asleep and dreaming when she felt a gentle touch on her shoulder. "We need your help," said a voice. "There are so many children to visit and so many presents to deliver. Of course, I'll help." Dorothy, be, be mean. The she was so excited she nearly fell over. Out of all the penguins in the world, Santa had chosen her to help. All night, eat long, Santa. Dorothy, the elves, and the reindeer flew off all over the world, delivering presents. Until at last, they were almost home. This is the last one, Dorothy said. Santa sleepily, thanks for all your help. Dorothy carefully put the last present under the village Christmas tree and turned toward home. She quietly climbed back into her bed and was asleep. In no time at all, the sleigh whisked away into the darkness. Early on Christmas morning, Uncle Benny arrived. "Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!" he boomed. "Where's Dotty? Come on, let's go." Dorothy, Mom, and Uncle Benny went out to see a big Christmas tree in the village. All the small penguins were squalling with excitement and unwrapping lots of presents. Look at my wonderful new sled! Shrieked Ness. Look at my new snow goggles! Shrieked Rory. There was one very special present left under the tree. This one's for you, Daddy," said Uncle Benny. "It's from Santa." Dorothy read Santa's note to Dorothy. A very special penguin. See you next year. Love, Santa. She slowly unwrapped the small present. Is that all you got, Miss? Shouted, zooming past Dorothy, proudly put on her new elf hat. Elf hat. It's just what I wanted. She beamed. Now at last, although she looked just the same, Dorothy Penguin felt a little di- bit different. That end. Hope you have a very happy Christmas.